Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to pull an image down from a S3 bucket into our iOS app. So if you don't know, S3 or Amazon has a storage solution and they call it S3, which stands for a simple storage service. And it allows you to upload media files or download media files. And, and that's what we're going to do. So in order to actually do this tutorial, you'll need to create a AWS account. They have a free tier that's good for up to a year. Um, and you can sign up there, but if you are already signed up, you can go ahead and continue. So I'm just going to cop into my console and I have this bucket created in S3. So creating a bucket is pretty easy. What you're going to do is just hit create bucket. You're going to give it some name. Now, the thing about these names is it has to be uh, unique across all all of Amazon. You can select your region. I'm just going to keep it the default. And you can actually go through and actually turn on version in. But for this one, we're not going to worry about any of this. I'm just going to keep everything default and just create the bucket. So after you create the bucket, you can go ahead and enter the bucket and then you upload a photo. I actually have a bucket already here that I'm going to use as a sample. And it just has this really cute puppy and I'm just going to upload that into or actually uh, download that into an iOS app. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up Xcode. All right guys, so we're in Xcode right now and this is actually a continuation of the Cognito uh, setup video. So if you haven't seen that, uh, I'll provide a link below or somewhere so you can watch that video. In that video, we set this pod file and we installed the pod core and pod cognito. In this video, you're going to want to install the pod AWS S3. Um, so add this to your pod file, hit pod or type pod install and you should be ready to go. All right. so. Here we are. I have a view controller. Let me just show you the setup I have. It's a really simple setup. It's just an image view that I have in the middle of this view controller and it's connected to this view controller class. And here we have the image view picture, which is our image view, obviously. Um, and I'm just going to hop back to our S3 bucket. So here in AWS, we set up a bucket and it's called code bean S3. Now you're going to want to, cause this may not be available when you go and, um, well, it won't be available for you guys to use when you go through your tutorial. So of course you want to go ahead and set up your AWS account and, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get some information. There's a couple of things we'll need. We'll need to know what bucket we're going to get the photo from and buckets are just ways of storing um, data in S3. I'm just going to copy this part of this link down here. All right. So like I said, we're going to need to know our bucket. So I'm just going to add some variables here. One being our S3 bucket. And that's the name, whatever you named your bucket. So I actually named my bucket code being S3 sample. And we'll also need a value, well, a key. Now the way things are stored in S3, you have keys and values and our photo key, let's call it a photo key, which is really the name of the file. And the value is the actual data. So I'm just going to, our image is called impossibly cute puppy 21. All right. Now, now that we have that, we're going to, I'm just going to create everything in our view did load. This is probably not the best place to do it, but it's the only thing that is going to be in this app. So there's no reason not to. So the first thing I want to do is I need to create a task, a download task manager. So I'm going to say our uh, 
our transfer manager, I'm sorry. So not task manager, but our transfer manager. And our transfer manager is going to be of the type AWS S3 transfer manager. And this is going to basically handle our request. And I'm just going to do a default. Um, so once we actually make a request, this transfer manager is going to go and grab that for us. And since I mentioned creating a request, that's the next thing we need to do. Um, and actually before that, what happens is with the transfer manager for the S3 is it's going to download the image, that puppy image onto our device. So we have to give it a place to actually put it. So I'm gonna say downloaded file is going to be our URL um, with file path. Our file path is going to be of NS temporary directory and then it's going to, I'm just going to append a component, which is going to be the file name. I'm going to call it temp, temp.jpg. All right, so now that we have that and we have our transfer manager, let's go ahead and create our download request. So I'm going to say if let download request is equal to AWS transfer manager download request. All right, so if we can set this up, this download request up, then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're going to want to tell it what, the, what bucket it's gonna grab and what photo it's gonna grab. So I'm gonna say download uh, request dot, the bucket is going to be our S3 bucket that we just set up and download request dot key is going to be the name of the photo that we want to pull down, which is our photo key. And then we just have to add our, where we want this file to be stored. So download request, um, download file URL is going to be our downloaded file. That we set up. All right, so now that we have everything we need for the request, what we want to do is tell our give give the request to our transfer manager. I'm sorry. So transfer manager, our variable dot download. We want to download our download request. And then we just are going to want to have um, a block. You can use any of these that you need to use for your own project. But I'm gonna just go ahead and use this. All right, so I'm going to say that we need a task, which is going to be AWS, and you actually probably just do without that, but anyway. So first thing we'll see is um, if we get an error trying to download this image, if error is equal to task.error, which is what is being returned here. The task is actually gonna have all the data. So I'm gonna actually say if we have an error, let's go ahead and print our error. And you can probably put an alert here, but I'm just trying to keep it clean. So if we don't have an error, let's go ahead and print what's in our task results. So we could just see that. I'm gonna run this. All right, so here we have the information from AWS. Um, it's telling us where we're actually putting this. So we're, we have a temporary location, um, this temp folder and our temp image and some other data. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and just, instead of printing the results of the task, what we want to do instead is go ahead and create or load the image into our image view. So let's go and do that. So first thing with F let data is equal to NS data. And we're on the content of URL, our download URL. So if we're able to do that, then we're just going to make sure we're on our main queue. So dispatch main async, and then we're just going to update our image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this. All right, and here we go. So we have the image from our S3 bucket. So if I just click on this, you can see that that's the same image. 
and it's just appearing here in the middle of this image view. Um, so there's another, there's other ways to download from S3. We'll be exploring those in different videos and we'll be exploring the upload process. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. If you want to see more detail or something else using S3, let me know. Um, I'm always willing to hear suggestions. I'm going to keep everything pretty simple in these. I won't be building crazy apps to just upload and download thing from, things from S3. Um, and thank you guys for showing up and I will see you guys next time.